everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch, baby. That's right, we are back with this edition of Five Questions with WRS. We answer your guys' questions that you guys send. Sending questions like crazy, trying to keep up as usual. Jotting them down. Yeah. Tommy, you, you, you jotting them down? Not really. No, it's me doing it. <laughs> well, well, I was trying to help. What do you say? I can't, I, I, can't, can't, I, I, I can't read your writing. I can't. I can barely read my own. That's because you go too fast. <laughs> I, 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 I do jot pretty fast. Well, it, the, the, the only way that, that, that you can read it is you've got a magnifying glass. I do write really small. I don't know I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's really small. Well, they can't see it. But anyway, um, uh, we're going to answer your guys' questions that you guys sent in. Um, and guys, if you want to ask a question, the best way to do that, and the only way to do that, is in the comment section down yeah, below. What are you looking at? Where do they go send the questions, Tommy? In the comment section down below. That's right. So make sure you send that send those questions so you'll be on a future episode. Right there I pop. What the hell are you looking at? Five questions with W R. Don't tell them. You gotta send in the comment section well, down yeah, below. Yeah, they already know that. Hey, you just told them. <laughs> yeah, you got them, you know, you just told them. Of course he don't want to help. Yeah, of course so. Well, I did I help. Alright. Make the motherfucking goddamn comments below. Understand? Good. There we go. Anyway. Let's go ahead and go with the first question asked by Jay Thomas. Jay Thomas. Jay Thomas. Uh, his question is, thoughts on Tyson Tomko? Well, Jay Thomas. Oh, the problem. Thoughts on... on yeah, he never yeah. saw the problem, no damn problem. Uh, Tyson Tomko. Okay, we should mention, we seen Tyson Tomko before he was in WWE. Yeah, he was called Bane. Yeah, he was Bane in OVW. He was one of the disciples of Sid. It was, it was Bane... And seven. And seven. Which was Mordecai. Which was Mordecai, Cave, and Thorn. They were seven and Bane, and they were part of uh, the Disciples. Uh, sorry, the. Uh, what did you say? I forgot. The Disciples yeah, of yeah, Sin. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Disciples of Sin. That's right. And Sin, aka Stacy, yeah. uh, Stacy Cornette, Cornette's uh, yeah. wife. Yeah. Uh, she had a she had a team there, um, and they did pretty well as a tag team. Yeah, I thought I thought I thought they were okay. Uh, not one of my favorite tag teams, but no. um, I actually prefer uh, like Slash or Damien. Yeah, uh, over over Bane and, and Seven. Yeah. but it is what it is. But we seen them in OVW. They became, I, th I believe, they won the Southern Tag yeah. Team Championships. I believe they did. Um, and then uh, later on, uh, they break up. And we see on WWE television, Bane. With Christian. With Christian, uh, and, and his name is Tyson Tomko. Yeah. And we're sitting like, that's Bane from OVW. And, he's, and Christian says, that's his problem solver. Yeah, and Christian says, this is my problem solver, Tyson Tomko. Yeah. This was 2004? Yeah. Tommy. Yeah. Did Tomko solve a lot of problems? He solved one right off the bat. He saw he solved a problem. Yeah, he solved a problem. Was it a math problem? No, but he solved a problem. All right. Okay. What? What? Was he a real problem solver though? Not really. Not really. He, 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 Did he, he solve a lot of problems? Uh, I didn't see him solve solve any problems that, 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 except for the problem that Tommy's gonna gonna. There is one problem he did solve though. He solved a problem. Yes, he sure did. Tommy, let me know right now what problem did Tyson yeah, he Tomko damn sure solve? If there was a problem, yo Tyson could solve it. <laughs> yo Tyson Tomko could solve it. Check uh, out the hook while he goes on heat. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what? Uh, what? What? Uh, problem did he solve? Well, he solved the great mystery woman. The mystery woman. Tell me, there was a mystery woman. Oh yeah, that I, came out and would be involved with a lot of the divas and would uh, help Victoria a lot. Would help Victoria a lot, and and um, of course at the time, you know, uh, Trish was also there. Yep. Uh, and uh, this mystery woman would get involved in a lot of uh, Victoria's matches to yes. help her win. Uh, over Trish, and yep. at this time, Trish is with Christian. Yep. Uh, because uh, she dropped old beer gut. Yep. And, uh, uh, aka Chris Jericho. Um, and, uh, well, even Christian said, hey, Trish, if you need a, if you need a problem solved, Tyson will do it. Oh, yeah. He solved a lot of problems. And he solved that, that mystery woman. Oh, yes. He solved the great mystery woman problem. 
And what was that mystery woman problem? Talking? Well, he said he was going to solve it right now. Yeah, and he and did. And he solved it on. And un- he did. And he solved it on Unforgiven 2004. If you guys go watch that, me and Tom actually did a review of that in the archive. And what a great it. match! Yeah, great match. And he comes out. I'm going to solve the mystery woman right now. And he bring and the mystery woman comes out. He beats the fuck out of it. Out of it. No, I'll say that. Yeah. Uh, it was a it. It was it. And then. And then he finds out Stephen Richards. Dressed in drag. Dressed as a woman. And then he says he solved the problem. He beat Stephen Richards. Everyone's beating Stephen Richards. (laughs) Everybody's beating Stephen Richards. So Tyson, you really didn't solve that much of a problem there, did you? (laughs) That 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 problem was already solved a long time ago. Everyone solved the Stephen Richards problem. (laughs) Everyone's beating Stephen Richards. So that's supposed to impress me. Now you saw the great mystery woman, fucking the the mystery woman problem. The mystery woman problem. You think ads are supposed to impress me? You yeah. didn't solve many problems. You <laughs> lost problems. And that's why that, that, you didn't solve nothing. That's why. That, 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 that's and to me, I little, thought you. His little stint. I'll be honest. And WWE was not that long. Hell, he hell. Christian, Christian was was fucked because you didn't solve a lot of his problems. He always lost. He did. And you were no help. No help. With your fucking tank top Mickey Mouse tattoo fucking fucking pointed beer ass. You didn't fucking help nothing. You were, not, you were a okay. Bam Neely Jr. Okay, now. We, Actually, you were before Bam Neely. We all you were, know. I think you were Bam Neely's daddy. We, 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 here, here, here's a problem. I'm going to tell you something. Because he didn't solve no problems either. Here was a problem. I had a problem. Here was a problem I had. Of mm-hmm. all the talent that was there. They chose him to go there. He had a look, I guess, is what they. But he didn't. Oh, look. I forgot. He was he was a big man, you know. Yeah. You know, he didn't have no talent. Big a band, and, and and those days loved big men. He didn't have no talent. And uh, I think I there mean, was something there. I mean, I wouldn't say they had no talent. It's just I didn't see too much out of him. Well, I, well, fuck. And he didn't get too once, much. Once, <laughs> once Christian fucking left him, where the fuck did he go? He teamed with Snitsky. Oh, that God. ain't gonna get you nowhere. And then he goes to TNA. Then he goes to TNA and suck there too. Hell, AJ Styles had to carry the pointed beer fuck. Yeah, you know. Well, it's you know, true. Here, here's did the point. He, did he go to jail for like robbing like a like yeah. a like a like a uh, pharmacy store yeah. or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. And, they, and they found him in the bathroom shooting yeah. up. Shooting up. Uh, here, 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 here's the point. The only I'm going to be be I, I'm just going to. Tell the truth. The only the only recognition that that, that, that he really got, the only time time he really got over was in OVW. Well, the only time he did was being paired with Christian, but hell, that didn't help either. Yeah, they didn't really help his career at all, and they didn't help Christian either. No. No, he took up. <laughs> Those problems went went around the problem solver. Yeah. So Tyson Tomko sucked. So his problems never never got solved. Let's go with the next four questions. They're asked by Tim Mosey. All right. Uh, Tim's first question is, who would win in this dream match in their primes? So each of them are going to be in their prime. Uh Uh-huh. We got Terry Funk, and we got Stan Hansen. By God, they better be in their prime. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Because, 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 could could you just imagine now? Uh, uh. (laughs) True that. Um, who would win? Well... Uh, I like Stan Hansen, but I'm going to have to go with Terry Funk. Terry Funky, huh? Yeah, I like Terry Funk. I like Stan Hansen, too. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to have to go with Terry Funk. Well, uh, are weapons available? Is what I want. Well, that that is the problem now. Here's the thing. If, if weapons was available, you, you probably have to go with Terry Funk. Yeah. Because you know Terry, he didn't give a fuck what he grabbed. He grabbed and he'd take my horse. He'd be, he'd be, he'd be, he'd be uh, whacking that thing. Really? Stan uh, Hansen, tough me motherfucker too. Bad eyesight. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm I, I, I got, I gotta go with Terry Funk. Terry Funk. I would say Stan Hansen, but. Don't get me wrong. A motherfucker would beat the dog shit out of him. Yeah, I like Stan Hansen, too. But I do love Terry Funk more. Yeah, I was going to say, I love Terry Funk more. But, um... Well, I, yeah, I, 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 don't, I didn't have nothing against Stan Hansen. See, not only that, I mean, but it doesn't really matter, I guess, because 
He'd probably use weapons anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. Terry Funk, I guess. And, and one Terry Funk, you know, come on, man, he's he's a tough guy. Even even like even he, in his old age. Yeah, even even in his old age. I remember, I remember that fucking Devin Nicholson piece of shit. Yeah. That fucking, Animal! That fucking Jack Swaggerless fuck. Fuck you. Hey, yeah, you could even knock Terry Funk out. Yeah. That shows you how big of a pussy you are. And I didn't give a fuck that you got Hep C either. Uh, he, I'm being honest. Here's, here's the thing. You got what fuck you deserve. Animal. You got what you deserve, boy. Uh, what, what would make the difference? Should have been in the ring uh, with if, fat ass Admiral the Butcher they were, anyway. If they were you know what you're going to get. We, we know what would happen. That they'd get in the ring and just beat the motherfucker. Each, each motherfucker senseless anyway. Mm -hmm. That's that, that's how they roll. That's how that's what they did. They 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 they, they, yeah, they were no technical wrestling. They, they went in that, there and pounded your fucking ass. And not only that, but it'd be a lot more entertaining with Terry Funk in there too. Oh yeah, yeah. more yeah. than more than Stan because Stan, yeah. St Stan's all about business. Yeah. and he'll fucking Larry the fuck out. Yeah, of him yeah. Too. He, he, he but yeah, he'll lay your fucking ass out. But at least but at least we get to hear you know Terry Funk cut some promos while he's doing. Yeah. It. Scream, uh, scream, <laughs> Fucking, yeah, and fuck, Devin Nichols couldn't even fucking knock him out. Yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him, man. Oh, I'm glad you got Hep C. And his, and his shitty ass promotion in Canada. Yeah, and people say, how dare you say, well, he shouldn't have been in the ring with that Billy. You should know what you're going to get. You're going to get Hep C. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the next question here. What tag team was the most underrated? <laughs> Tim Mosey says IRS and Ted DiBiase, money. Well, that's a pretty good uh, underrated yeah, tag team. Yeah, it was a pretty good underrated tag team, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, of course, uh, I think they took on the Legion of Doom. Yeah. Uh, they took on. Um, did, didn't they take on the Natural Disasters yep. as well? Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, by the time they got around to Hogan and Brutus, that uh, was it, it was all over anyway. Yeah, that was pretty much the, the fucking end of Money Inc. in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. With, 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 the the man Hogan, Hogan walked in, you know, you, you know, it doesn't work for me, brother. With uh, with brother Brute Eye, of course. <laughs> Big brother booty. Yeah, yeah, the booty. Well, uh, what, what 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 are we gonna do tonight? Uh, you know, leg drop and all that right there. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Tommy, underrated tag, the most underrated tag team, <clears throat> Young Bucks. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> most underrated tag team. Underrated tag. Uh, yeah, they won the tag titles, but I'm going to go with Eminem. Eminem. Mercury, Nitro, and Molina. Come on. They were a great tag team. They split them up for no fucking reason. Mm-hmm. No doubt. I'm going to have to go with Eminem. Eminem. Uh, now, you, uh, you know, they were okay in WWE, but where they shine was OVW. Yeah, they were great in yeah. OVW. You guys ever watched the OVW television show, especially 2005? Oh, yeah. Some great stuff. Pops, uh, what what's a what's a tag team that is the most underrated? If you got one, if you don't, it's fine. Shit, I don't really have one. You don't really have uh, one. I I can't think of one right now. No. I know you like the monkeys. Uh, the, uh, well, you, you know, it, it, it's like it's like everything else. Though. But they were a job. The, job but but they were a job job thing. But you know, the, they. And, and, hey, hey! But they serve their purpose. Yeah, the, 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 you see, that's that, that's the thing, you know. Uh, the, these guys, uh, you know, these these guys, you know, that's that's called you know jobbers. They go in there and they do their job. Mm -hmm. That that's what they're what they're paid to do. Yeah. And another thing, and and and, and this right here, something people people are know, but back in the tour tour days, that, 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 like like when the guys on top, they take care of the guy, the the, the, the guy, the guys, the lower card people took care of the guys that's on top. Yeah, if, if, if a job went in an accident and it hurt a, a guy that was on top, you wouldn't, the, the jobbers weren't even going to get paid. Mm -hmm. And, and, and back, back that right there, that means that them, them jobbers going to kick his jobbers fucking ass because, hey, you, you hurt our meal ticket. Now, that right there is back in the Toro days. But uh, I, I do believe that, you know, people's lost the form of that right there now. But nowadays, you know, it, it things are just different anymore. I mean, a lot of people would say maybe the Midnight Express, but I think, I think over the past, you know, Ten years at least, a lot of people have realized how how actually good the damn, the yeah. damn uh, Midnight Express the, the, actually was. The, 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 you know, it's you know, it, and and we told this right here. So we, we we met, you know, Jim Cornette was was the manager of the Midnight Express, 
and and and, and, and I, you got to meet the rock and roll yes, express. Yes, and I got to meet the rock and roll express. Well, I, I was I was talking to Jim Cornette, and and I and I told him, you know, I, I said I, my the Tom, my my son's favorite team was was, was the Midnight Express. He said, yeah, they're they're big boys. I said my team was the Rock and Roll Express. He he, he looked at me and he said, I'm gonna tell you what. He said. When we put the, when we put the, the when we put a marquee of a, 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 a both of both them guys, a, a, both them teams, we made money. And I, he said, I I love them boys. Uh, a tag team that was the most underrated. They also won the tag team titles too in WWE, but of course it didn't last long. And I'm also gonna go the OVW route as well. Do some Domino. Mm -hmm. They yeah. were a great tag team. Yeah, they were. Um, of course, in WWE, you guys didn't really see it. <laughs> uh, uh, they were outshined by, sorry, one of the most blandest tag teams, uh, Paul London and Brian Kendrick. I'm yeah, sorry. bland. Bland. I love Brian Kendrick, though. Uh, I'm a big fan of Brian Kendrick. Fuck Paul London. Don't care about Paul London. But them as a tag team were really bland to me. I didn't, To I didn't, me, they were bland people, and boring. People were like, they're one of the best modern tag teams. They sucked. I'm opinion. sorry, they were I, Velocity. I yeah, yeah. You know, you know what Velocity is, don't you? Being on the D show. <laughs> Velocity. Velocity. They were um, up there with Nunzio, Nunzio and Dino. <laughs> Nunzio and Dino. Uh, but, uh, most definitely, uh, Deuce and Domino. I mean, especially if you guys watch a lot of their stuff in, in OVW. Oh, yeah. Uh, you'd uh, probably yeah. see it a lot better. Yeah, they... they, they, they Just they, like with them and them. Yeah, if you guys seen a lot of the stuff the in OVW. They were the tag team titles uh, in, in WWE. Yeah. But the, where they really shine was OVWA. I, I, I mean, you, you hear their music, and bad, bad guys, get, the, the, the house would just pop. Mm -hmm. So, those those were what we would say. Yeah. Uh, Tim's next question is: Had Brian Pillman not had the accident, uh, would he have been WWF champion? No, he wouldn't have. Why is that? Well, one, like Brian Pillman's a great talent, but I don't. I didn't see him as world champion. And I will say this, he was, he was rather on the smaller side. Yeah, I just didn't see him as world champion. He, great work. But I will say this, at that time, I mean, they were breaking in a lot of the smaller guys like Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Stone Cold. You know, they're not these monster uh, uh, giants yeah, like but, Hulk Hogan uh, yeah. or, you know, Yokozuna or anybody else, yeah. else like that. But, listen, would you do, would you really think Brian Pillman could be WWE champion? No. <sighs> I, I'm a I, huge Brian Pillman fan, but I I, I don't cannot, see it. I, I cannot see I, it. I tell you what, he was outstanding in the ring, uh, bar none. Uh, but champion, well, champion, no. Intercontinental champion, yes. U.S. title, yes. Uh, but not a, not not a not a real world champion. You no. say secondary titles. Yeah. But, but, but not, not because you know. Don't get me wrong, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad mouth him or anything, because, because you know, he, you know, he was a great wrestler. Mm -hmm. But I really don't, don't think that they would have marketed him that way. Mm -hmm. I really don't. And also, he was going through a lot of personal problems at that time. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only the accident, but I mean, like, um, you know, a lot of his family stuff yeah. was going on. And, yeah. and uh, you know, drugs, alcohol, yeah. things of that nature, so... Uh, I would have to agree with you, though, Pops. Most definitely, uh, you know, maybe an intercontinental championship level, maybe even a tag team championship. European, yeah. European yeah. was just coming into the uh, into the WWF. So I mean, oh, um, yeah. they would they would been a lot of low card titles that he would have grabbed. Or what my belief is, mm -hmm. because because he is he is a, he was a fantastic wrestler. But as the WWF champion, <sighs> no, sadly, no, no. Uh, let's would go I, would I, if he if he would have if he would have would have made it that part and, and and been there, would I hope? Yeah, because because, because I I think you know if if if, if it would have been, I think he might have carried it very well. But uh. let's go with the last question asked by Tim Mosey. Who is Jerry the King, or 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 should I do a, a little Corey Macklin? Jerry the King Lala. What? Who was his greatest rival pre WWE? So so no, no, so no, no WWE. No, no WWE. So so no Taz. No, no Bret Hart. No Bret Hart. No Michael Cole. I I, I know there's a big fan for that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a fan base. One. Great one. Uh, but uh, pre WWE. So anybody okay. uh, anybody uh, before he gets into WWE. All right. 
which he got in the WWE in 1993. Yep. Um, so, uh, even making shots in 92, too. Yeah. He mm -hmm. made some shots in 92. But um, pre-WWE, who was his greatest rival? And not only that, but we should not mention that we met Jerry Lawler. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was at our local fair. Uh, a, a nice guy. Yeah. He just, uh, you know, didn't have a lot of time to talk with him or yeah. anything. It was more of no, like he, it, it, autograph, it, picture, yeah, leave uh, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, you know, shake his hand, picture, and then, you know, it, it, and let me tell you something. When, when he got done, he left. Yeah. You know, he, he was on his way. In the sweet WWE shirt. Yeah. Which, uh, which uh, uh, our good friend... Uh, Nick uh, knows a lot about. Yeah, Nick Kurtz knows a lot about that sweet-ass WWE t-shirt. But, uh, um, okay, uh, who was Jerry the King Lawler's greatest rival? Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman, as, uh -huh. uh, as, as, uh, Bill Apter would say. Uh, why, why would you say, um, Andy Kaufman? Because he put Lawler on the map. Did you guys see, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you probably yeah. maybe, maybe seen it, I don't yeah. know, but that, that, sh that shitty Treasures, WWE Treasures show. That they have on a. Uh, on, is this on where a, with that big bearded DJ Khaled trying to be a pro yeah, wrestler? Yeah. yeah, fuck him. Uh, I don't like that show. That, I really don't. That fat fuck wannabe bushy beard fuck. Yeah, DJ Khaled. Yeah. Uh, they wanted Lawler's uh, uh, crown and uh, uh, his crown and his robe from the King of the Ring 1993. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Lawler, Lawler eventually sold it to him, but uh -huh. I think he sold it for like $10,000 or whatever. But, uh, of course, you know, that really wasn't Lawler's debut. He was yeah. doing a lot of shows there. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, I guess that was his more memorable uh, impact. Yeah. But, um, they, they bought it, and I think they got a hold of... Was it Bill After? I, be, I believe it was Bill yeah. After. They got a hold of of him and got and got uh, Andy Kaufman's uh, neck brace and his sunglasses mm -hmm. from Bill After. Mm -hmm. um, this is the one thing that really pisses me off a lot. Is yeah, that's cool. But WWE never really talks about it. No, yeah. they don't. No, they, they don't. don't. They don't. They don't talk about it. They don't have no footage of it. Nope. They don't show anything nope. of it. They don't care. They don't. And you want to know why they don't care? Because A, it was in Memphis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they don't own any of the Memphis stuff. They don't. He, they, he, uh, Jerry Lawler would not sell them that. that, that well, actually, that, I, don't, I don't even think Jerry Lawler really owns yeah. a lot of the Memphis stuff. I, I, think, I think that's more of like, uh, I think it's in like, um, uh, what do they fucking call that? Um, like where, where it's like fair use. Like a lot yeah. of people can actually use a lot of the yeah. Memphis stuff. Yeah. Uh, do, domain, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Um... Like I think Corey Macklin said he owned it when he when he clearly didn't. Jerry Jarrett, I don't I I don't even think he cares. Mm -hmm. And Jerry Lawler, he said that he owns it, but he really kind of doesn't. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there, there's like a lot of mixtures in there yeah. about a lot of the Memphis <clears throat> stuff. Uh, and of course, WWE never talks about no. Andy Kaufman. They never do. Uh, Eddie Marlin, no. uh, of course, Eddie Marlin's dead. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 you know he. Uh, that that was a, that was a big big thing there there that you know he was a promoter there, and he and he was one that found Jerry Lawler. But you said the Andy Kaufman why though? Well, because that put Lawler on the map. Yeah. You know, fucking as mainstream. As mainstream, yes. I mean, I mean, you would say that maybe maybe a few would, yeah. you know, Jackie Fargo probably yeah. put him on the map more than, but, than that. But, so. but this made Lawler go mainstream. Yeah. His feud with Andy Kaufman. Come on, he's facing the Star Taxi. The Star Taxi, Saturday Night Live, yeah. Yeah. fucking doing nightclub routines, wrestling yeah. women, uh, uh, which they show a lot. Yeah, you know, yeah. they shown a lot of that footage of, of yeah. him wrestling yeah. women. Yeah, in Memphis. And then and then here's this here here's the King of Memphis. Yeah, yeah. Jerry the King Lawler. Uh, you know, you want to fight women, but if you want to fight a real man, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I'm right not, here. I, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not. Fucking, I'm not these women out here. Yeah. And fucking Lawler Powell drives him. Yeah. And fucking Kaufman's fucking folded up like limp noodle. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> is. Dude. You were the suplex. Yeah, the yeah. suplex landed back first. Head, 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 fucking felt like he fucking fell off. Yes. 
Fucking landed right on his neck and then uh, into the course. All, it, all it was was two moves. That's all all it did. Yeah. A back suplex and a power drop. And he was done. <laughs> and the funny thing was is I, lo I love Andy Kaufman just coming back in, in, in the back with fucking Lance Russell and, and, ju and just talking about, Ah, oh, you like that, you... <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, like that, you, you, you bunch of hicks. Yeah, you bunch of hicks down here in Memphis, Tennessee. And go yeah. pile the field <laughs> yeah, yeah, and your you little hicks. <laughs> yeah. And fucking Lance Russell, you just keep running your jaw, you get wor worse than what you got right now. Yeah. Shut up, Russell! Uh, and then, of course, on David Letterman, you know, fucking, fucking Kaufman goes on a cussing tirade after he gets slapped, and fucking that was one of the hundred hottest fucking things yeah. on television. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody, and, and they weren't invited yeah. back to yeah. David Letterman's show. Uh, no, no, nobody, nobody. He, what it was? Have been on Letterman since. He was long. made up because they knew they knew but each other was going to be in a Letterman show, and it was made up. And and Kaufman suggested this. He said, what, what, what would you just make an impact? Nobody's going to know. You're going to slap me. And, and Jerry talked about it. He said, I, do, I, I said, no, I, I don't want to slap you on the show. He said, look, I want you to slap me. It's going to be great. Slap the hell out of me, Jerry. It's going to be great. Just do what I say. We're going to hit the big time. You slap me on this fucking show, Ray. We're going to hit the big times. Mm -hmm. And by God, they did. And not only that, but I mean, shows you how much um, Andy Kaufman loved wrestling yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or, yeah. Or, or appreciated wrestling. Yeah. His, his checks for Memphis... He framed and put it on his wall. Yeah, yeah. He, he didn't even cash. Care. He didn't it, even cash. He, 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 here's the thing: he wanted Andy Kaufman wanted to be a wrestler so bad, and and, and he, he 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 got his break when and, and Jerry Law. Hey, look, hey, come on down here, come on, come down yeah, here. Uh, I th yeah, because I I think he went to Vince. Yeah, and Vince yeah. didn't want to do it. Yeah. And, you know, of course, the NWA didn't want to do it. No. And Lawler's like, yeah, well, come here, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 Big business. Come, come on, Because, you, you know, the star taxi, man. Money record. Right Jerry ain't seen that money coming in. Uh, greatest rival. <sighs> I'd have to go with Bill Dundee. Bill Dundee? L lose or leave town match. Hair, hair versus hair. Oh, my shit, man. Yeah, they, they, shaved, they shaved Bill Dundee. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like... Well, my wife, and they shaved Bill Dundee's wife's hair, too. <laughs> but, uh, uh, most definitely, when I think of the two greatest, it's definitely them two. And, I mean, if even if you do want to throw in maybe some Austin Idol as well. Yeah, um, Austin Idol, you, 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 you know. You, or Randy Savage. Yeah, Randy you know, Savage. Randy Savage, boy, big, big feud there. Uh, you know, you, it's, it's really, you know, everybody that, 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 and and here's the thing that you know I gotta hand it to to Jerry. He did he did what any you know guy guy would do if he if he wants you know to make people excited. He dropped the title once in a while. He lost it. You know he got it back. But 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 you know he 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 didn't have, he was the title title hog. He, he he knew he knew the best thing to do. Hey, I gotta lose this title to you. Beat me and lose it. I gotta lose this title. I'll get it back. But but I just want you want you to do this. And then, damn, uh, uh, Jerry he even got his hair, hair, hair shaved with, with, with the, the magic, with, with the with the Tommy Tom, uh, uh, Tommy Rich. And yeah, Austin and Austin, Austin yeah, he was hiding underneath the rings. And uh, you, you know, he had, you know, he had a lot of feuds there. I mean, you could even throw uh, Nick Bockwinkle. Yeah, yep. Nick Bockwinkle. Uh, oh, Nick Bock. <laughs> Him and Nick Bockwinkle would, would would tickle me <laughs> when they fun they go against each other. And I mean, even even up to the end with uh, with Kurt Henning. Yep. For yeah. the uh, for the universal well sorry for the unified yeah. heavyweight championship. So I mean, uh, Lawler did some great things. I mean, yeah. if you, if you guys go back and watch some of his you know eighties and nineties, even into the nineteen well sorry the seventies, eighties, and nineties stuff. Uh, you, like a lot of people just know him from being a commentary, you yeah. know, for WWE. Uh, hell, hell, he was. I mean, he got he got in the he ring. Was, he, got, he, got, he, he was a damn good wrestler. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, go check out some Jerry Lawler, no doubt. Guys, we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed, it, don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Instagram page two. You can uh, follow. Well, you can add Pops and Tommy's new on Facebook now. Uh, and guys, make sure that you guys also follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. You can also follow me and Tommy on Instagram.